so welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be running you through my reasons as to why this current Liverpool side cannot be hailed alongside the Premier League's elite teams. Now, I know this video is going to divide a lot of opinion, especially because there's probably going to be a lot of Liverpool fans abusing me in my comment section below. However, hear me out on this one, because I just want to stress as well that I am not taking any credit away from this Liverpool team. They have been absolutely unbelievable. They deserve to win the title by an absolute country mile. And therefore, I do want to just, before I get into this video, just give massive credit to this Liverpool team, because I'm not taking any credit away from them. As I said, I keep the opinion that they are an unbelievable team, and they have just deserved to win the league this season. I don't think anyone will argue with that. And you know the thing as well, by me saying that they are not up there with the elite teams in Premier League history, I do mean that obviously there has been this debate going around for the last like six months or so whether Liverpool are better than four teams in Premier League history and that is the Arsenal Invincibles of 2004, the Chelsea team of 2005, the City Centurions in 2018 and of course the Manchester United treble winners in 1999. And yeah basically in this video I'm going to be running you through my reasons as to why this Liverpool team cannot be hailed as better than any of those four teams. Okay so let's start off with comparing this current Liverpool title winning team to the Manchester United treble winners of 1999. Now for me this is the one team in this video that Liverpool actually do come close to simply because Manchester United did win the treble however obviously only one of those trophies was the Premier League and yet to my knowledge that season I think Manchester United only managed to pick up like high 70s low 80s in terms of points and yeah I know you could argue that the Premier League was a lot more competitive back then and there was a lot more other good teams like the likes of Arsenal even Liverpool and Chelsea the likes of Leeds and Newcastle United were up there as well of course however I know this is a purely Premier League based video but you can take away the fact from Manchester United winning the treble and obviously that is of course the Premier League the Champions League and the FA Cup that is just an absolutely unprecedented achievement only the best of the best can do that and yeah of course this Liverpool team I don't think anyone will deny have made better progress in the Premier League that's this season than United did that season however I just do think that that United team would beat this Liverpool team simply because of the quality they had all over the pitch you think of the likes of Giggs, Scholes, Beckham, Neville, Andy Cole, Dwight York, Teddy Sheringham I could go on for ages and yeah that is why I think that that Manchester United team of 1998-99 are better than the current Liverpool side now the second one we will compare them to is the next most recent one after that it is the Arsenal Invincibles of 03-04 now personally for me I don't think this is any debate I I mean, we saw just how hard it is to do the Invincibles, as we saw Liverpool this season, who did get beaten by Watford by three goals to nil, and then, of course, lost to Manchester City and Arsenal yesterday. Yeah, and I think that credits Arsenal more than it decredits Liverpool, because it just goes to show how hard of an achievement that is, because since, obviously, Arsenal went invincible, there has been a lot of teams that have gotten close, but not quite close enough, and I think the fact that Arsenal, I know they managed to get a lot of draws, but you cannot take away the fact, because not losing a single game in a 38-game season is borderline impossible at this stage. And yeah, of course, you think of that Arsenal team, the likes of Henri, Bergkamp, Perez, Vieira, Saul Campbell, you know, Jens Lehm and Ashley Cole. I mean, again, the list goes on with the amount of quality players they had in that team. However, I do think that the Arsenal Invincibles are very disrespected in truth when it comes to these elite team uh, debates. And yeah, I think that this Liverpool team don't really come close to this Invincibles Arsenal team as good as they have been this season. And now the next one is probably going to involve a bit of bias because the next one up, of course, is the Chelsea team of 04 05 who got 95 points and only conceded 15 goals in the entire season. And yeah, what many people forget as well is that we were one game away from being invincible one game and that was a Nicholas and Nelka penalty against us for Manchester City when they bet us 1-0 at the Etihad Stadium and that is purely why I think that that Arsenal achievement is completely unprecedented because that Chelsea team although they obviously they didn't deserve to go unbeaten because they lost that game however they were probably the closest team to being unbeaten in Premier League history apart from the Arsenal team and the fact that they lost that one game to a penalty is just it just goes to show how tough the achievement of that Arsenal team was but yeah that Chelsea team of course only conceded 15 goals there is a debate whether the fact that that Chelsea team was boring because of course Jose Mourinho that season had adopted the Premier League tactic of you know grinding out wins against the smaller sides and against the bigger sides and you know winning most of the games by one goal however that Jose Mourinho team did play a lot of very good football at times as well it didn't just try and grind out results and even the fact that they conceded 15 goals with that back four of Czech, Carvalho, Galas, Ferreira and Terry I mean that is an unprecedented achievement I don't think any team in Premier League history will ever get close to that and Liverpool it just goes to show have conceded 29 goals this season with two games left so that's almost double what Chelsea conceded that season and yet the other players as well of course Lampard, Drogba, Johnson, McAuley, Duff, Cole and yet that is why I think that this current Liverpool team do not come anywhere near close to that Chelsea 04-05 team that won the league back in of course 2005 and now the final team we are comparing them we are going 14 years between the gap between Chelsea 0405 and of course the Manchester City Centurions the main team that are getting compared to Liverpool simply because of course it's only a two-year gap between the two teams and yeah I put up on Twitter a few days ago and it just goes to show the fact that Liverpool lost to Arsenal and now can only get 99 points as an absolute maximum I mean everyone thought that Liverpool were going to smash that Centurions record and we're going to get like 105 
506 points. Well, it just goes to show how difficult that achievement was, and I just have to congratulate and just give respect to Pep Guardiola and that Manchester City team. I know they put a lot of money into that, but to get 100 points with a back four consisting of Benjamin Mendy, Nicholas Otamendi, and John Stones, I mean, no one can doubt that Pep Guardiola is a top coach. I know he invests a lot of money into the work that he does. However, to win a back, to win 100 points in the Premier League season with three of those back four being average enough players in truth, it's just an absolutely phenomenal achievement. And of course, you think of the attacking players as well, like the likes of Aguero, Sané, Sterling, Bernardo Silva, of course, Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva, even Fernandinho in the holding midfield role. And I think that would be a very good game to see that City team come up against this Liverpool team. Of course, it's not that different, really, because City still have the bulk of the players that won that season for them. And I know there's probably going to be a debate in the comments for people saying, oh, a worse Liverpool team beat that Centurions team that season. However, we're going purely based off the whole Premier League achievement. And to get 100 points in a Premier League season, as weak as the competition may be, it's just an absolutely phenomenal achievement for any team to get. Hence why I think a lot of people now have to give credit to that Manchester City team because now we've witnessed just how hard it is considering the fact that this Liverpool team didn't do it, then I don't think many teams will be able to do it in the future. So yeah, we have to give credit to Pep Guardiola and that Manchester City team. And yeah, guys, that would bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes from Liverpool fans in the comments. But yeah, also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And of course, as I said, this video is purely based on my opinion. Do not take it for anything else other than that. And I just want to finish this video as well by saying congratulations to Liverpool on winning the Premier League title. I'm sure you're going to absolutely love seeing Jordan Henderson lifting that trophy on Wednesday after hopefully we get at least a draw against you at Anfield. It probably won't happen, but let's just see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.